His Morning Crew with Rob, Allison, and Jim. 20-year-old Eden Santana bought a special journaling Bible when she started college, but a couple of years ago, she sadly left it on an airplane in Atlanta, and she thought she'd never see it again. But this week, something incredible happened. Eden joins us live to tell us this crazy story. Good morning, Eden. Good morning. So this Bible meant a lot to you? Yeah, yeah, it was everything, like all the classes I was taking, all of my notes inside this Bible, like absolutely everything I could possibly put in, prayers, etc., all in this Bible. So extremely important to me. Uh, Allison said you left it on a plane, but how did you actually lose it well, on a plane? You know, I honestly don't even remember like what happened. I just remember I was boarding the plane. I went to the restroom one last time, got on the plane, and I just don't remember having my Bible. So when I landed in Greenville, um, I got home and I was panicking. I was like, oh my goodness, I don't have my Bible. And I just started crying like for days. I was crying. I was asking my friends at my Bible college to pray for me, like to like pray that I would get this Bible back somehow. But even in that, like I was also praying like, okay, Lord, like if I don't get this Bible back, like I just ask that you would use it wherever you know, wherever the Bible actually is. I pray that you would just use it. Whoever is able to pick that Bible up, I pray that they would just read that Bible um, and, you know, and just be blessed by it. So, um, and it's interesting too, because when I got the call that um, the Bible was actually found, so the school got an email saying that someone had a Bible with my name in it two years later. um, And as, as soon as I get in contact with this man, he's honestly said to me, he said, that this was probably the best story that the Bible could have ever had. Like this was the most picture perfect story for a Bible that got lost because um, it it really did change him. Hmm. It really did. He said that um, it was just quite the journey that the Bible had been on with him and he didn't go into details, but it was, it was really encouraging hearing that. Yeah. So two years went by, Mm -hmm. you probably lost hope that you'd ever see the Bible again. And then you get word that a man named Tim Mm -hmm. has your Bible. And you said he reached out to your school. Your name must've been in it. It was in it. And it was in my, the school's name was in it too. So I'm thankful for that. Um, He didn't have Facebook or anything like that. He seemed like he was a little bit older, I guess. And so when he got in contact, finally, he said he was just sorry that it took that long because he had been trying for so long. He tried different emails and different people. And yeah, so when he finally found me, he said that it brought tears to his eyes. It sounds like you had conversations with him. Was that just email or did you actually talk to yeah, him? Yeah, no, it was over email. Um, it was just interesting. He actually, so he grew up in Easley, first of all. Um, so he lives in Atlanta um, and he really didn't go into too much detail about his life. He just was was just happy that that I found my Bible back. So. But how did he get his hands on it? He said that he found it with one of the cleaning ladies or something like that. And he just, he saw it and he was like, wow, that's a beautiful book. And apparently he loves books. And he saw it and was just like, I want to take this back. Is there, is, what do you do with books that are lost? And they said, well, usually we just discard them. And he was like, no, like, can I please take it? Like, let me try to find the owner. Mm. And so that was his mission. He said that as soon as he got that Bible, that that Bible was his responsibility and that he was going to take care of that Bible until he found me. What's it like to have your Bible back? You have it with you today. Yeah, I don't even know. Like, it's just... It's just surreal because I look back at it and I see just like dates in here from like 2015, 2016, and just seeing where I was in life then and where I am now. um, It's just an amazing reminder, um, just this whole story about how the Lord's timing is not our own timing. And if I had had my way, I would have wanted to get that back Bible back immediately, but I didn't and the Lord used it. And um, now that I have it back, it's just to just prove how faithful he is and that he's just so good and he cares for us because he just wants to bless me by giving me my Bible back Mm -hmm. after two years. So I was ecstatic. I was crying, flipping out, excited. So I just couldn't believe it. Eden actually just opened up her Bible in front of us. (laughs) You can see all the notes that she has in here. I mean, it's so personable on the things that God has been telling her. Do you remember when you opened it up for the first time after you got it back? What did you see very first thing? (laughs) Well, when I had the package, it was sitting on my steps and I 
I was like ripping it open and I pulled it out. I was just like, oh my gosh, like this is everything. Like it was just brought back so many memories for me, just like where I was and like where the Lord has taken me. And that's just such a sweet thing to be able to see, you know, just how far you've grown in your faith by 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 having this Bible and then then seeing like your study notes, your prayers, you know, the days that you had that were like prayer and fasting days from your quiet time sermons. And um, it was just absolutely incredible just being able to go through it again and just be amazed about what the Lord has done in your life. So And talk about incredible timing. You leave for a mission trip in a week yes. overseas. Are yes. you going to take it with you? Yes, I will. <laughs> I am planning to journal in this Bible again. Um, you know, and this will be, I think, the thing that I keep with me forever because I have more room to write in it. And I can't wait to just, again, like just pour what, what I know from the Lord into this book. And he's just blessed me so much. I think him. Eden is young enough that I can say your age, right? Yes. <laughs> She's 20 years old. And look at how on fire in her faith that she is. It's so important to you to love Jesus. It's yes, so awesome. It is. He's my and, everything. And her Bible is written like she's she's been around on this planet for 50 years. <laughs> she's got a lot of notes in it there. It is so it amazing. Is a treasure. You got a great story, Eden. Thank, Thank you, you so for much. sharing Thank it with us. Thank you so us. much. I appreciate it.